got an update for you on our SEO plugin. Uh, so this was a, a plugin that we launched not too long ago. We've added um, a lot of nice updates to it. So uh, if you've already used it before, this should look familiar to you. The plugin is all about managing your SEO metadata in a simple, easy to use interface. So um, out of the box, you kind of get page titles and meta descriptions, which is basically the, the bare minimum that you want on the SEO side. Uh, we show you a, a quick little search preview of what that would look like. Uh, you could populate this with a template from the page title and we give you just a, a, some contextual help of you know, how many characters you should have for the page title or the meta description. And if I go over those, you can see that that's gonna be truncated in our search preview. Uh, we've also added a preview for your social media links or OG images. Uh, so here I can uh, upload my social images or my OG image and actually get a quick preview of what it's going to look like if it's shared on different platforms um, and what that link will actually look like. Uh, just again, helpful little context. But now we have added even more powerful features to this uh, based on feedback that we received. So uh, we can enable an advanced controls like search engine for uh, like no index, no follow so that it doesn't follow links or this particular page doesn't get indexed. You can add sitemap controls if you want to change the frequency which the crawlers look at your site or the SEO fields. Those were like custom SEO fields where I can define like canonical URLs or basically any other metadata that I want to pass to my front end. Uh, but the new thing here is our focus key phrase. Uh, so we can actually analyze your content. Uh, so I'm gonna go into our pages collection and let's set up the SEO plugin for our blog posts. So I'm just gonna add this focus key phrase and when I enable that, it asks me for a slug field and content fields. So where are we actually keeping the content that we're gonna render on the page? Now, if you've ever you if you're coming from WordPress, uh, this is very similar to something like Yoast or, or some of those other SEO tools where it's just static analysis of our content. So if I pull this up, uh, we go over to our SEO tab and here we've got the option to add our main key phrase. So if I add CMS as our main key phrase, you could see this analysis will happen almost immediately. Uh, it says, hey, your focus key phrase does not appear in the content. Um, so if this keyword isn't showing up in my content. You know, maybe bunny would be a better one for this. Cool. Uh, and then it shows us, hey, your subheadings, uh, like your H1s, H2s, H3s, those do not contain that focus key phrase. So it gives us improvements, good results. Um, just a quick, nice little check on your content before you publish to know that you're covering your SEO basics. Um, so that is the update for the SEO plugin. I hope you'll find this helpful. Keep the feedback coming, please. We love it.